Um, good morning. We are working in our instructional coach. Um, this is um, level one, and we're going to be working on lesson three. That's on pages um, starts on page thirty three. Today we're going to be um, learning and talking about different um, different people. So let's turn to page thirty four in your workbook over here, and we are working with nouns. And nouns are a part of speech, and I'll just um, read you up here where it says. A noun names a person, place, or thing. A proper noun give, names, a, names a noun. It begins with a capital letter. So when we talk about um, names of people or places, then we always start those sentences with a cap, those words with a capital letter. Um, in this first sentence, we have Gina visits her aunt in July. So Gina starts um, with a capital letter because that's the name of a person. And July also starts with a capital letter because that's the name of a month. Now, a possessive noun shows what someone or something owns. So we add that to a noun. So when we're talking about the aunt of Gina, we could also say Gina's aunt. And both of those things would mean the same thing. So down here it says, write a possessive noun to take the place of the underlined words. Use a capital letter for each proper noun. So number one, when I read the sentence, it says, the cap that Jim, Jim has is red. So we're talking about the pers a person named Jim. So I'm going to start with a capital letter when I write Jim, Jim's name. And we're talking about something that he has or he owns. And he has a, hat, a cap. So we'll say um, Jim's. is red. So all of those words um, can be replaced by Jim's cap. Jim's cap is red means the same thing as, as the cap that Jim has is red. And here we have, I have the leash of a dog. And we could also say, um, I have the dog's leash. So when I write the word dogs, I'll start with the word dog. And I'll add an apostrophe. And I'll add dog's leash. I have the dog's leash. Next we have the tooth of Beth is loose. So we're thinking about whose tooth is loose and it is Beth's tooth that is loose. So I'll write Beth and since that's his, um, her name, I'll start with a capital B, Beth's tooth. And the book that Mike has is funny. So whose book is it? It's Mike's book. So we'll write Mike with a capital M. Mike's book. Now we're going to be talking about some punctuation marks we use when we write. So a telling sentence ends with a period. A question ends with a question mark. A sentence that shows strong feelings ends with an exclamation point. So here are some examples down here. We wait for dad. Where is he? There he is. A comma separates the day and year in a date. It also separates words in a list. Today is May 2nd, 2013. We walk, run, and ride. Down here we're going to practice um, filling in the missing punctuation marks. So it says, will Jill, Max, and Jim come? So I noticed that this is a list of words, so I'm going to put commas between Jill Max, and then I'm, or after Jill and Max, and then it's a question, so I'm going to end it in a question mark. Will Jill, Max, and Jim come? The next one. The cats are white, black, and orange. Again, I noticed a list. This is a list of colors, so I'm going to put a comma between the list of words, and this is not a question. It's just a statement. It's just telling me something, so I'm going to end it with a period. Um, number three, I got my kitten on August 15th, 2013. Hmm, when I look up here, it says that a comma separates the date and the year, um, or the day and the year and a date. So after August 15th, I'm going to put a comma, and this is telling me when this person got their cat, so I'm just putting a period. And the last one, my kitten is so cute. Oh, that's something I would say very excitedly, so... My kitten is so cute, exclamation point. 
Okay, we are working on page 36, and today we're going to be reading a story. And this story is a biography. A, bi a, a biography tells the facts about a real person. Think about the facts in this biography. So a biography could be written about any person. In this story, this biography is written about Christopher Columbus. So on page 36, you can follow along as I read. Christopher Columbus was born in Italy in 1451. He went to sea as a teen. After many years, Columbus became a ship captain. Columbus had an idea. He wanted to sail across the ocean to Asia. No one had ever done that. At that time, people went to Asia over land. The king and queen of Spain liked Columbus's idea. They gave him three ships. Columbus sailed for 33 days. On October 12, 1492, the ships landed. Columbus thought that he had reached Asia, but he had reached what we call the Americas. Columbus sailed back to Spain. He told the king and queen about his trip. They had never heard of this new place. It was big news. Soon many people sailed there. Sailed there. They wanted to find out more. Hmm. So over here on page 30 seven um we are going to be using information that we learned about christopher columbus and we're going to be filling out what's called a facts planner and a good biography will tell facts about a person it also tells why that person is important so we are will write the parts of the biography in this chart so this chart is going to um, show us or summarize all the important information that we learned in our story so at the top it says our per the person's name and then we'll write facts about this person and we'll write why this person was important. So we can always go back and look at page 36, the story of Christopher Columbus to help us um, find information. So here it says the person's name. So there I'm gonna write who this biography was about and it was about Christopher Columbus. And to make sure that I spell that name correctly, I can look back to the story and I see Christopher Columbus written right here. So I'll write that same thing on this page. I wrote a little bit too big, but um, that's okay. His whole name is there. And we have facts about this person. So I'm going to think back to the story. And I can even look back in this story if I don't remember everything from the story. So what things were important? Well, I remember that um, Christopher Columbus was born in Italy. So um, I can write that fact here as the first fact. He was born in Italy. And I know um, that he was a teenager when he first went to sea. That's important because he was very young. So I see that information right here. He went to sea as a teen. So um, I can write that as our next fact. Hmm, what else was important about Christopher Columbus? Hmm. Well, I think it was important that he became a captain of the ship. Um, that's really going to help him on his voyages. So I'll write that he became a ship captain. And, hmm, well, why was he um, sailing? Well, he wanted to make it all the way to Asia. Um, instead of going by land, he wanted to go by water. So that's important. So I'll write, he wanted to sail to Asia. And he never, he didn't actually make it to Asia on when he was sailing. Instead, he reached America. So I'll write that he reached and then next it asks why was this person important so I'm going to think about everything I heard in this story um, and what was the most important thing well it was pretty important that he found a new place that the people in Spain did not know about so um, I will write why was he important he found a new place that Spain did not know about. 
Because after he found that place, a lot of people began wanting to um, sail there. So this fax planner does, gives us the main ideas and the most important things that we heard from our story. And it just organizes that information in a new way. On pages um, 38 and 39, you're going to have a chance um, to give this a try. Um, and then also you'll have some more practice as on pages 40 to 46. Um, so you can go ahead and get those a try now.